Hey, how's it going? This is Comrade. And there has been a recent development in Bloodborne. Apparently, hackers have created a new chalice type. You could always create depth 5 cursed rotted chalices. I'll show you right now. So, you go to Isroot. You can do fitted, rotted, cursed, and conduct the ritual if you have the materials. And you could do sinister, but you couldn't do sinister and fetid, rotted, curse. Well, apparently, some hackers have actually created sinister, fetid, rotted, cursed dungeons. I don't know how they did it, but they exist. Here's one right here. So, wait, what? Well, that's odd. Now the additional rights is, is blank, but before it said fetid, rotted, curse. But now the additional rights are in the description. Man, that's weird. Okay. Oh, there, yep. Sinister, fetid, rotted curse. So, but this potentially could open up new loot tables because sinister chalices have enemies that are unique to them. And the gems they would drop were never very good because they couldn't be cursed gems. But now that's changed. So, who knows what could be in here. Um, I want to offer special thanks to Scorched Knight 95 on the Reddit Tomb Prospectors board who made a post about this. As far as I know, he's the first person to discover this. And I'd also like to personally thank the Twitch user uh, Zaggy Saw <laughs> Z A G E S A W. He pointed this out to me on Twitch the other day. Um, thank you, you guys. Uh, this has got me really excited. Um, who knows what could be in there? So let's open it up. This is a level 65 character. Um, I was originally intending this to be a dex build, but when I was trying to farm tempering gems, I got a 32.6% blunt gem, uh, which basically immediately changed my mind about what kind of build it was going to be. Because that gem is so rare. You really want to make use of it if you get it. And this is also the build that I got a lot of triple kills with. I was actually on Sunlight Blades, two of Sunlight Blades top tens, first place with this build. It was uh, Bloodborne Stealth kills and Bloodborne Insane kills. I got triple kills in both those videos with this character. Doesn't look too out of the ordinary so far. <laughs> Jump kick. I got a really strange drop from a red aura. Uh, I don't know what those guys are called, but one of those guys, red aura, but never gotten a. Okay then. I've never gotten a decent gem to drop. 
when they aren't red or red, so I'll just ignore them. So this is already interesting. That guy can drop blood tinge gems, cursed blood tinge gems. Yep. So actually, if you wanted to make a blood tinge build, you could make this dungeon. And if he drops cursed warm damp blood gems, I guarantee you he'll drop the the cursed damp blood gems that have the good blood tinge scaling. And he probably drops out of shapes about the same percentage as the other guys you would farm. Wow. <laughs> so actually that's already a really good this is already a really good chalice. Um, I think there's a few faster chalices to farm where you don't have to go up a ladder but that's actually pretty good already. Wow, that's pretty terrible. <laughs> guys whoops thought I was dead Interesting. Let's see what this is. So it could be 16, 17, or 18. Oh, wait. I think it. That might be it. It's an interesting gem. Might not be it. We'll see. Or might be one of these. I don't think they drop. Yeah, they drop like uh, two primary effects that I think usually are not really what you want. room for watchers but not too bad. Oh crap. Yeah. This is not the great not a great room for watchers, but could be worse. No, I don't put sh sugar and spaghetti. I mean, I made spaghetti squash tonight. My wife likes it. Actually turned out really good. I overcooked it, but it actually is the best that uh, I think I've made it. Ah, forget this guy. He doesn't even drop anything I really want.
great. Jummy dropped. Could be that. I think I dropped the, the 17. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just looked and then. Yeah, he dropped the 17. That's not bad. I'm sure you can drop up to 19 tempering. Nothing else. I think it's really cool that you can actually farm top tier gems and then also you can be invaded while you're doing it. Hey Brenna. Thanks for checking in man. That's interesting. I wonder what he can draw. Come on, man. Do your move. Don't want to get backed up that way. Whoops, I forgot I wasn't, uh... Give me a break. One tenth of a second too late. <laughs> That's all right.
didn't go off. Where the heck is it? I don't even see it anymore. There it is. He could probably drop some interesting gems though. I'm just probably gonna fight the next boss and uh, stop for the night because my wife's waiting to play a different game with me. worth exploring every nook and cranny of this place but I'm not gonna worry about doing that right now I think that guy can drop a piece of nourishing gem. Well, there you go. Let's see what he dropped. Yeah, I should drop some of these off at the... Uh... Interesting. I don't know how much better he can drop, but that's... You want to get like 21% with plus 15 flat. I don't know if he can drop higher than that, but that's not terrible. Whoa, what the heck? Probably drop pretty good tempering and adept, and I think he, when he has a red aura, he doesn't drop blood tinged gems. He gets like the tempering gem path on the table. to do a jump attack. Hold 
in my soul chamber. Uh, let's see what that is. It's not terrible, but I forget this guy. Easy boss. Back up for. I should parry them. I think that that's like a split positive effect gem. Not really what you're looking for, but I think they can come with some interesting effects occasionally. Weird. Yeah, you really, if you're going to do physical, you really want the 27.2s. Because the split effect is, all, I think, always worse. Right, look at that dope over there. I can't resist. I wonder if I can chain him. Nope. <laughs> No. Alright, well, my wife is waiting patiently to spend time with me, so I'm gonna get off of here in a second. Just wanna take one peek at the next layer. So I didn't see anything too outrageous yet. Um, no enemies that. Okay. No enemies that you can't find in uh, normal. Thuru, Fetid, Rotted, Cursed, but, um, I'm still hopeful. Oh. I mean, at the very least, now you can, 
what the heck? Break up the boredom of uh, farming blood gems with invasions. <laughs> you can invade people that are farming now, which is, I think, is interesting. I think it's cool. I mean, it's not for everybody, but honestly, I would find farming a lot more interesting if I could have the uh, chance of being invaded while I'm doing it. Wait, you're not dead? I thought there'd be another door here somewhere. Jeez, I'm not even really sure how to fight that thing. I wonder what kind of gems he can drop. What's he done? They can be found normally. The cursed, rotted, fetid through roof. I don't know, maybe. I think they can. Lake rune. Kind of hoping I might get invaded, but I guess there's not a lot of Chalice Dungeon invaders at this level. And that can actually open up the chalice, which yeah, I find out a lot of people that are level 65 that have gone through all the chalices. I'm sure there's people that have, but probably not a ton. All right, I'm gonna get off of here. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can find these chalices by just searching for depth five sinister and they'll come up and uh, thanks to everybody who tuned in and uh, I'll probably be streaming more of this type of stuff on Twitch or YouTube and uh, good luck I guess we'll 
probably find out pretty soon if there's anything new in these dungeons or not with everybody starting to explore them now. See you later.